Well, I got to say, folks, this is uh, bravo on Natalie Portman's behalf. Or bravo to Natalie Portman, rather. Welcome back, everybody. It's Orange Hat here, bringing you another video. So, uh, Natalie Portman says kids should avoid working in Hollywood for their own safety. I feel it was almost an accident of luck that I was not harmed. Well, we all know what goes on in Hollywood. All the rampant pedophilia and sexual abuse, but let's get into what she has to say here. In making a break from popular sentiment of her er, industry, actress Natalie Portman has warned that in light of very real dangers it can pose to your very well-being, aspiring actors should avoid spending any amount of their childhood working in Hollywood. Thor Blunder and Blood star voiced her latest safety concerns while speaking to Variety's Clayton Davis in promotion of her upcoming film May-December. Beginning their time together with a brief discussion on the current state of the industry, Davis asks generally of Portman, as a former child actress who is now a mother, would you encourage your children to get into this industry or do you see enough change that it feels safe for them if they choose to get into it? In turn, the actress who made her film debut at the age of 13, Luc Besson's Lyon, the professional, firmly declared, I would not, emphasis hers, encourage young people to go into this. She then clarified, I don't mean ever, I mean as children. I feel it was almost an accident of luck I was not harmed, also combined with the very overprotective wonderful parents, explained the Star Wars prequel star. You do not, or you don't like it when you're a kid, and you're grateful for it when you're an adult. I've heard too many bad stories to think that any child should be a part of it. Having said that, I know all the conversations that We've been having these past few years, concluded Portman. It's made people more aware and careful. But ultimately, I don't believe that kids should work. I think kids should pay or should play and go to school. Bravo on her right there, man. Notably, in light of the numerous stories regarding child abuse actors that seem to occupy the headlines, more than understandably, Portman is far... From the first Hollywood actor to speak out against the, or the industry's abhorrent treatment of its younger talent. For example, 22, or 2022 saw Godzilla vs. Kong star Millie Bobby Brown decry the fact that since her recent or then recent 18th birthday, she definitely is seeing a difference between the way people act and the way people press or in the way the press and social media have reacted to me becoming of age, she says. In my opinion, I believe that coming of age shouldn't change anything, but it's gross and it's true. Brown told Deborah Francis White during an inter or appearance on 300 first episode of the Guilty Feminist podcast. So I think it's just a very good representation of what's going on in the world and how young girls are sexualized. I have been dealing with that, but I or I've been dealing with that, but I have also been dealing with with that for forever. Yeah, it's kind of, or it's kind of disgusting when people look at kids in movies and automatically think of sexual shit because that is very disturbing and it is unfortunately a growing trend that people are uh, no longer decrying at least at the top levels. Likewise, speaking to the topic during an interview in New York Times given earlier that same year, Riverdale star Cole Sprouse noted that while he and his brother faced their own fair share of disgusting sexualization during their tenure as child actors on Disney Channel's The Sweet Life of Zack and Cody, their experiences paled in comparison to those faced by the network's young female actresses. My brother and I used to get quite a bit of, oh, you made it out, oh, you're unscathed, recalled Sprouse. No, the young women on the channel were, or we were on Disney Channel, were so heavily sexualized from such an early age that my brother and I, that there's absolutely no way that we could compare our experiences. When we talk about child stars going nuts, what we're not actually talking about is how fame is a trauma. He continued, 
So I'm violently defensive against people who mock some of the young women who were on the channel when I was younger because I don't feel like it adequately comprehends the humanity of an experience that, or and what it takes to recover. To be quite honest, as I have now gone through a second big round of fame, or of this fame game as an adult, I have noticed the same psychological effects that fame yields upon a group of young adults as I did when I was a child. He further decried. I just think people have an easier time hiding it when they're older. He's essentially saying that very disgusting things are going on behind the scenes, folks. That these uh, young women and young men are seeing their image in very disgusting depictions. It's very easy if you do an internet search that you might find some sort of references to sexual depictions of these people when they were under age. And that is disturbing beyond any normal level of disturbing. This is disturbing to the point where people actually fantasize about this stuff and people are actually getting paid to promote this stuff. So, yeah, that's the end of the article. But, yeah, Natalie Portman, she's just uh, another one that is calling it out. And I gotta say, I respect her for that. Now, do I respect her for other things that she has done in life? No. Uh, certain uh, things she has said are indeed very foolish. But this, what she has said here, I can absolutely agree. And I think that... Uh, I think that if kids are being put through this, they should definitely speak up. And they should speak openly and very publicly. Because there's something that a lot of people forget. Kids do not know how to lie until they are taught how to lie. And when they experience lies, that is when they know how to lie. But children do not usually lie when it's the first thing coming out of their mouth. Especially something like that. So yeah, um, I do feel for them and all the uh, women and men who went through Hollywood and had that happen to them. Thankfully, uh, as she says, it never happened to her. But it still happened to many other women in younger eight or at younger ages, and men at younger ages. Remember that video I did back a few years ago about Disney hiding and protecting a pedophile who was sleeping with a 15-year-old boy, and instead of uh, instead of turning her in, they. Uh, moved her to a different division so that she was protected and you never know she might offend again this sort of disgusting stuff behind behind Hollywood folks is what needs to be called out it needs to be exposed because the more that you feed the Hollywood machine the more this stuff will happen to kids who are put into the machine they will be abused, their innocence taken. And its stem is from Hollywood and those big names that drive the machine. Something that y'all need to think about. Anyway, that is my coverage of this. Uh, let me know what you all think. Y'all know the drill. Like, comment, subscribe, share, all that jazz. Leave your comments down in the comment section below, folks, and I'll see you this afternoon to talk about the movie Jason Bourne. Y'all have a wonderful day, and always remember, stay humble.